Hey everyone, welcome to another wacky stream from your pal Norn Rad slash Matt Creamer. Uh, I got the idea to uh, uh, that it might be fun for me to. Um, sorry, um, things are already getting out of hand here. Uh, I got the idea that it might be a silly thing for me to do. Um, record myself playing some kart racers. So, hi everyone. Welcome to the stream. Um, kart racers. That's a weird thing, right? I've been playing a lot of, uh, Mario Kart. SNES Mario Kart, uh, lately. And, uh, because I still have my Super Nintendo set up. And, uh, I have this rental copy of Super Mario Kart. And uh, I've been playing it, and I was trying to beat the time trials that were uh, that were left on there because it was a rental copy, and uh, I was just crushing the times. And uh, I eventually got pretty good um, at this first uh, Mario Circuit level, like Mario Circuit One. And uh, you know, when I was a kid, I only used to play as uh, Toad and Koopa because you know they're the they're like the easy mode, right? They're uh, they're not very fast, and they don't skid out very much, but they're uh, they're like the easy mode, but the thing I never noticed as a kid is if you bump into other racers when you're playing as them, uh, they slow down completely, whereas if you're Bowser or something and you bump into someone, eh, you don't really slow down at all. You do lose a coin, though. Um, so, uh, sorry, this music is actually really distracting. I'm gonna turn this way the heck down. Uh, so, I was trying to beat the time trials, and I couldn't beat the ones from Mario Circuit with Toad, and so I was like, well, something's gotta give here, because all the top, all the, like, top scores in the rental copy of Super Mario Kart that I owned were by Bowser and, uh, uh, Donkey Kong Jr., and I obviously knew that they were the ones to get the fast scores with, but I thought, you know, maybe if I was just better at the game, I could get a top score. So anyways, I bit the bullet, and, uh, I ended up, uh, getting a lot of practice in as Bowser, and uh, I figured out how to get really good at the game, and I'm actually like in the top percentile of uh, scores in the world right now. I'm not like a world record leading guy, but I'm like, I'm like half a second off the world record, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it is a lot. Um, anyways, uh, in my pr in my uh, training, uh, I got to really appreciate how well the game was crafted. Uh, Mario Kart, the Super Nintendo version, and uh, yeah, dude, freaking Mario Kart on Winamp. Um, welcome, by the way, Brandon, and uh, I hope you have yourself a uh, Diet Rudy as well, because uh, it's mandatory for watching my streams. Mmm! Uh, so anyways, um, I got thinking, man, there was a lot of, uh, kart racer spin-offs, and, like, everyone was trying to get a piece of that Mario Kart pie, and it's kind of like, you remember when Call of Duty came out, and everyone's like, oh, we gotta get a piece of that Call of Duty pie, and uh, Mario Kart was, like, the original one for that, because if you're... If your company had a mascot, they're like, make a kart racer with that mascot. Like, everyone had a, like, Crash had a kart racer, Bomberman had a kart racer, uh, Sonic has multiple kart racers, Power Rangers has kart racers, Muppet Babies has kart racers, and they carried on. They didn't just go from Super Nintendo. In fact, Super Nintendo only made it had, like, a handful of kart racing games, but, uh, PlayStation just was rotten with kart racers, and, um... And, uh, you know, the computer was rotten with kart racers, and so I, I started uh, researching all the kart racers to see, just like, is there enough kart racers here to make, like, a really goofy sort of series where I do nothing but play kart racers and sort of uh, gauge whether or not they're good or bad? And for me, um, already getting started with the Diet Rupers. Um, for me, uh... I never really played any of the other Mario Karts after Super Mario Kart 1, like the original, and uh, I feel like, and I, I don't want to play any of the other Mario Kart games in this series, is kind of what I'm getting at here, because I feel like the best one ever made was Super Mario Kart, the original, and I'm sure people are going to be like, oh no, the one of the best ones ever was uh, Mario Kart 64, and it's like, well, I never played Mario Kart 64, and by the way, I think it's kind of crappy. Don't hate me yet, because we're going to find out how relative that scale is for me. All I really know is Mario Kart, the original. I don't really know anything else, so in my opinion, it doesn't compare. There's something about that original Mario Kart that was so precise. In fact, they're, they're drifting in the game. Well, like, if you're playing as Bowser trying to get like a sub 101 time in Mario Circuit 1, you'll notice really quickly how... Uh, 
Okay. All right, you're off the hook. Uh, anyways, uh, you know, I, I'm really bad at this. I, I look at the chat and then I get screwed. But, uh, you know what? Uh, whether or not you like Mario Kart the original or if you played Mario Kart 64, I'm sure if you were playing Mario Kart games at any point in the process, you're playing among the best kart racer games. But what about those other ones? What about that that whole black hole of kart racing games that no one talks about anymore? I've only sampled a couple of them so far, and uh, it's actually pretty shocking to me how bad they are. Like, and I don't want to dump on games. I don't want this to be like a dump on game stream, but there's a charming aspect to games that, uh, you know, don't really play. Uh, like the upper echelon um, and so that's kind of what I want to do. I want to dive in What I want to actually do is find out if there's any other good kart racer games out there like genuinely good because I think Mario Kart SNES is genuinely good timeless game. I'm still playing it now. It's like it's ridiculous and like it's kind of a little sidebar here when I'm writing music and uh, you know I have to load up an instrument or something and it's like 20 seconds 10 seconds I have to wait turn around turn on Mario Kart play a couple laps um, uh, or a couple attempts. It kind of reminds me of Super Meat Boy the way I play Super Mario Kart. Like you make you make one mistake on the first turn in Mario Circuit. If you're going for a time trial, you have to just start over. Um, so anyways, you know, enough chat. Um, I'm kind of getting all over the place here. Right off the bat. Um, but you know, uh, first things first, I do have to um, I do have to share this that I'm I'm about to play some games on Twitter and I have to share it on Facebook. So, um let's do something silly. Let's just put on the idle screen real quick here. Hi guys. And uh let's just enjoy some of the Super Mario Kart soundtrack. Jesus, we don't we don't need that. Uh, let's let's have some nice vibes here. Yeah. Yeah, that's not bad. Hell of a soundtrack too. Oh my god. I need to make sure that the link here is going to be the right link, so... And, and how about that soundtrack? Like, that's the other thing. A lot of the other, like, Mario Kart clones... Like, that's basically what I'm doing here. I'm going to play all the clones. Um, they did not really go after the soundtrack the same way Mario Kart did. I gotta mute that. Is that the right? Let me just make sure it's the right one. Yes, it is. All right, Twitter will soon be aware of the insanity. Boom. Now, Facebook. And Facebook is mostly just for people I know, so. I gotta start somewhere, right? Uh, uh-huh. Let's, you know, the big, the big secret technique is here. You have to, you have to post a picture and then post the link uh, so that, um, like if you post a picture first, then Facebook will sh display the picture and then you share the link, uh, you know, at the top to the YouTube thing and then it will actually show the picture and then they'll just click on the YouTube link. And it's kind of, oh my God, it's over four megs. That is a big ass picture. All right, I'm already blowing it, everyone. All right, you know, forget it. Well, I'll just share the link. Myself playing awful, awful kart racers. Join me, won't you? Question mark. That's fun. And oh my god, these are fast tracks. Stressing out here. I guess that goes right back to, uh, you know, the original Super Mario Bros. When the timer's running down. Alright, Facebook is taking its sweet time. Hey everybody, welcome to the stream! Let's, uh, I want to show you guys the list I compiled, and uh, what we're going to do with the stream is um, maybe I'll take some uh, requests for which ones I should play. 
Yeah, dude, I agree, Steven. Uh, this is totally, like, that's synth. That's, that's the straight up, uh, like, Contra synth, right? Alright, uh, alright, this is getting out of hand here. We're getting out of hand. Mm, is that what I want? Yeah. Hey, everyone. Welcome. I did a little editing. I was a little sneaker. Alright, so let's... Oh, my lord. Heart Racer list. Is this what I need to do? Heart Racer list. Okay. Let's take a... And by the way, I don't... I have N64 here, but I actually didn't test that out, so I need to... <laughs> I'll need to test that out live. Um, PlayStation, I think I can hit all of these. Um, PlayStation's working. Uh, Super Nintendo is working. And DOS might be working. Um, so here's what I'm looking at. And, and the other part of this series is like... Uh, I want to uh, maybe include games that aren't kart racers, but games that kind of embody the kart racer spirit. So, a racing game and a kart racing game, uh, you know, it's really similar, right? What's the what's the difference? I don't know. You know, like uh, there should be like a cartoony aspect, a fun aspect. That's a that's a big that's a big sort of thing for me. If it's if it's meant to be like a cartoonishly fun racing game. A little bit of kart racing in there, um, but if it's like, oh, that's the other thing. Some of these things are uh, like Autobahn Racer Two. Like I don't know. Uh, I, I was basically just compiling lists, so I don't really know. Um, and then there's obviously ones that are like uh, Jet Moto and all these other ones where it's like just weird vehicles that aren't cars. Sometimes they're ships. Sometimes you get like a game like Wipeout, which is like it's a flying game. And that's that reminds me. Do we consider F-Zero a kart racer? Looking back, it might be a kart racer. I mean, it is exactly the same game as Mario Kart, it just doesn't have missiles. So that's the other aspect. Um, some form of combat, in my opinion, definitely qualifies as a kart racer, as far as the genre is concerned. Because, uh, like, here's the other silly thing, like, okay, kart. If we just say, well, if there's carts in it, then it's a kart racer. Yeah, but what about Michael Schumacher's Racing World Kart 2002? I checked it out. It's a racing game just with go-karts. Is that a kart racer? I, I don't know. Um, so that's um, that's kind of where we're at here. We're going to just... Uh, I'll, I'll dive in first. I'm going to play some of these uh, maybe PlayStation ones, and we'll, we'll start it off with that. Um, we'll see if I can get... Like, I plan to do this series more. Um, obviously, I want to keep streaming chiptunes, but... Um, a uh, little word of advice for everyone. Maybe don't stream games that you're working on before they're released because that doesn't work out well always. So I have to put a little moratorium on the uh, chiptune streams for the time being. I'm um, getting myself in trouble here. So we'll, uh, we'll, we'll change direction here and go into video game streaming. By the way, I have a lot of followers on my YouTube channel for audio software and... Uh, um, like audio software reviews, but now I'm playing video games, so they're probably watching this all pissed off. Like, where, hey, where's the synthesizer? Like, it's over here. Um, but you know, I, I'm not using it today. But uh, yeah, I've been chatting, gabbing it up. Uh, I was letting people, st you know, filter in. But now, now we're going to get started playing some silly ass games. Uh, so for the meantime, I don't want you guys to see what I'm doing just yet. So let's, you know, I don't know the whole legality here, but, uh, let's just say I own all these games, allegedly, so there's no need to involve anything other than your, uh, your delightful attitude. Involve that heavily. Uh, okay, uh, you know, I don't want to miss the PlayStation boot up screen, but we might miss a bit of it. You'll hear it! That's worth something, right? Oh my lord! Holy smokes, does that take you back? Good lord. Everyone get your Diet Rudy's ready. Because we're about to take it to the... to the maximum level of... ridiculousness. No, not an NDA. Um, actually, the, the... the person I'm working with is so cool about it, I kind of just dropped the ball. I probably should have asked them if they wanted me to stream that stuff first. Uh, 
caused a lot more problems for myself than uh, I ought to have. Uh, you'd think I would have learned. You know, I just, you know, the thing with chiptunes is I just really wanted people to see the process. Um, like if I was writing just anything else, I wouldn't really care as much um, about uh, showing you the exact process of writing stuff. But chiptunes are a weird thing. And, uh, you know, the, the more you know about how they're made, the more, I guess, impressive. Like, I don't want to say impressive because that's, like, egotistic, but... Whoa, dude! I'm going to start with Turboprop Racing, which I don't think is a kart racer. Um, but we'll see. Sorry, I'm all over the place. Uh, competition, one race. What do we got? Time trial. Hell yeah, this soundtrack is... Right? I'm your fire starter. Uh, let's just go to one race. Rad. Because this soundtrack is rad. Alright. Am I going to be the water hawk? Seems like the jack of all trades there. Oh no, he's the speed demon. Maybe I want better handling. Or better acceleration. Damn. Let's get handling. I, I just tested this out real quick beforehand. Uh, it's a real treat to play. I say that with no sarcasm whatsoever. Uh, steering plus triangle is turbo. Alright. Oh my lord. Uh, tell me if the volumes are, or the levels are any good too. I'm going to say that uh, the other aspect of kart racing games is like, oh my god, this game is squirrely. Uh, pickups. Pickups is like a, a staple of kart racers, right? You got to pick stuff up in basically every kart racer ever, except for Michael Schumacher's kart racing awfulness. Um, holy lord. Obviously, they're going for a little eh, wave racer sort of jet moto uh, wave simulation here, but this is squirrely as hell. And this soundtrack is awesome. Alright, let's, uh, I'm doing a little better with this boat than I was in the one I tested out earlier, so that's, that's a plus. Uh, if you can consider this better. Oh, yeah. I wonder what happens if I fill up on turbos. So I'm going to say, when you have pickups in a game, it might be a kart racer, even if it's trying to be like somewhat realistic. Oh my lord. Look, I'm still 16th, I'm not even close to the next guy, and I think I've been doing not awful, but this is entirely too loud. I'm sorry for anyone watching. We gotta kick it into hyper overdrive here. Ah, no, no, no. Did you notice at the start too? It actually mentioned the the band that did the music for this game by name. I can't remember the name of them. But it must have been a big deal. That's one thing I don't like. One thing that makes a game an actual racing game as opposed to a kart racer is the time limit here. Like, kart racers don't have that, ever, as far as I know. So, that's one thing working against this game. I'm not sure it's a kart racer. It's just an awful game. But, I noticed that I can only pick up three speed boosts at a time. And then there's that whole section at the bottom of my sort of HUD with the five circles. I don't know what those are then. Maybe those are some kind of weapons. That's not doing awful. Oh dear. Well, anytime you end up the wrong way, you're doing kind of awful. Dear Lord. Jesus, I'm not even going to make it. Go! I can't express to you how awful the control is here because they're... 
they're trying to do the, like the realistic waves sort of thing, but it just makes it so you're going in the wrong direction always. Which is maybe, maybe that's realistic. I don't know. But uh, the main uh, takeaway is that it's not very fun. Come on! Oh joy, we made it. Yeah, there's a whole lot of stinky racing games. I mean, kart racers aside, there is a whole, whole slew of stinky racing games out there. We gotta pick it up, bro. Oh no. Let's try that again. You know, we tried. Um, that was awful, and I didn't enjoy any of it. Uh, yeah, I noticed it so loud that I just had to keep talking so that it was ducking the, the volume. So I'll, uh, I'll see if I can fix that. Um, I don't want to play this anymore. Let's cut back to this. That was, uh, alright, alright. Uh, alright, so I need to go into my top secret cube base zone here. And let's, let's get some stuff going here. I need you to be quieter. Um. Hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. I'll. That'll be a, a thing I'll have to fix for the next time. Maybe it just is ridiculous music. Yeah. I mean, the, that is ri for 1996 or whenever that game came out. That sounds like it was probably pretty slamming soundtrack. Uh, but we might have to suffer through some exceptionally loud soundtracks for a little bit here while I figure out what the heck I'm doing. So, what the heck, that was, uh, I already forgot the name. That's how big of an impact it was. Uh, turboprop racing. Let's, um, I'm all over the place here, but turboprop racing, I'm gonna say not a kart racer. Let's... Blank out the ones that we've checked out. Um, now let's go ahead and check out another game. Let's try Lego Racers for PlayStation. This was one of the other ones I checked out. Seems like it is a kart racer. So there's that. Hey everyone. Let's uh take a little time out on the tiny screen. Clearly no expense was spared on the stream. Lego Racers. And see, if they have an option to turn down the volume, I'm definitely going to hit that up. But I did okay. I checked this game out uh, one second before I started the stream, and they do actually let you build your own car, which I was being all like cynical, like, uh, I bet they don't even let you build your car, but they totally do. Like, all right, good for you guys. Some distortion there. Uh, yeah, I don't know what year this was either, but this is probably way before LEGO had sort of reinvented themselves. Yeah, there was a time when all this 3D animation was just mind-boggling. And in my mind, I remember it looking perfectly crisp. No pixelation at all. Not the case. Alright, let's play some racing games. Loading screen. You don't miss those. You still have them, but it's amazing that games would load as long as they did back in the day. And my original PlayStation also uh, broke. I remember it. any time it loaded, there was like a 50-50 chance that it just would not stop loading. Just, well, I guess you're going to freeze. Those were the days. Uh, here's a good question for all you guys in the chat who are still watching. Twisted Metal. Does that have kart racing aspects in it? There's no racing at all, right? But Mario Kart had battle mode, which is basically just Twisted Metal. It's hard to tell, man. Let's go options. Let's see if I can do some audio to change how the game works. Uh, I think I'm going to be fine. Okay. Let's just turn this down a bit. I, I don't... Actually, while I got this open... Enjoy these sick tunes! 
can just open Q base and see which one of these. Are they? Nah. Dang, it's all connected. I'm gonna have to configure this better later. Well, who wouldn't want to hear these tunes at maximum volume? What are you, some kind of maniac? That's it though. Cart racers. There were so many cart racers, right? Yeah, dude. Twisted Metal. Um, I remember uh, seeing it in the magazines, like GamePro, and um, just being blown away by the description. Because I remember all, you know, the whole process of playing games on the Super Nintendo in that era. Uh, it was kind of like the transition. Like Mortal Kombat's a great example where it's like the transition between cartoon and real life. And um, once we we were in that buffer period where we were we were uh, just starting to get real stuff like quote real stuff, and um, I remember any time I played a video game that gave you kind of an open world, even if it was like a racing game where it's like can you drive over there? Can you drive over there? And the way they described Twisted Metal in the magazines was like go anywhere, drive anywhere, over hills, under bridges. Like that's what I need. I need that in my life. And so uh, I actually bought Twisted Metal before I owned a uh, PlayStation and played it at my one friend's house that uh, that had a PlayStation. Oh, you gotta go for the skull. <laughs> good options. I mean, that's a good... I, I, I've been just trying to come up with... Ooh, I like that. I've been trying to come up with, like, uh, themes for, s like, series, not, like, s stream series or streams where I, or, or things where I edit, either or, um, but, like, just, um, things that, uh, like, here, I'm doing kart racers only, right, but, um, uh, alright, what the hell am I doing here, select, ah, here we go, well, I've already got P, I can't get rid of P, so, to be poo or pu. Anyway, so one of the other uh, series I was thinking might be fun is uh, wrestling games because there was just so many wrestling games, especially on the PlayStation, and uh, they're all kind of th that. This game reminded me of wrestling games actually because you could build your own wrestlers and they would kind of let you go into insane levels. It's like eh, this is pretty rad. You can put your own blocks anywhere you want. Uh, and I did experiment with completely breaking the game, and so I'll do the same thing here. Can I get... no, you can't get over his head. Well, in that case... I'm looking at their GUI and I can't see how to delete one. Alright, well, in that case, my guy just has blocks in front of his face. Circle moves me. And then can I... It's another era, man. What in the hell am I doing? Can I do this? Now we're doing something stupid. Oh, okay, you can't go over top like that. Fine! They don't want you to break the game. But that's all I like to do is break the game. So here's my car. What a lovely vehicle. Alright, yeah, I've subjected you to enough of this. Oh dear, is the start button not working? Oh, okay, start button's over there. Okay, what a lovely vehicle. Uh, let me check the chat out. Sorry, I've been neglectful. Very strongly. Uh, yeah, I feel like... yeah I, I mean, I would agree. I think, uh, I think Twisted Metal is, like, what would you call it? Like, um, vehicle, vehicular combat. That's probably its own genre. But then, in Mario Kart, would you call Battle Mode 
vehicular combat because then there's like a weird crossover right like cart games can have vehicular vehicular combat but then if you were to take twisted metal and just put them on a racetrack or even just play against your friend and, and race uh doing it yourself like sort of build your own okay we have to go around here then you have to like it would be a cart racer wouldn't it um it's a good question these are the tough questions uh let's just try a single race i'm not trying to beat the game or anything Soundtrack is happening. Uh, all right, so I guess I. Oh, okay. What in the hell? Do you think they got some sick synths on this track? Because I'm hoping they do. I can either be poo or dump. Dump was the test vehicle I made before. We'll be poo. Who's earned it? Take a sip of your diet, Rudy's. Uh, what the hell am I doing? This will be a start. This is a start of a beautiful era of goofy streams. That's the other thing, man. I don't remember the textures in PlayStation games popping in and out like this when I was a kid. Ah, oh, you stole it. See, this is definitely a kart racer, right? Like, that's kind of kart racing 101. Oh, there was a sharp turn button, but I can't... Oh, there it is. Oh, dear lord. What does this one do? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like, even this. Like, I want to say Mario Kart for Super Nintendo was precise. What the hell? Was precise. Everything about it was, like, surgically precise. You drove with surgical precision. This feels, like, super bad. And this is actually one of the better ones that I've played in, like, the bit that I tested out. Which is weird, right? Like, that this would be considered better. A better one. Let's go over here. I don't know what these... I don't know. Like, this music, too. You remember the soundtrack for Mario Kart? Slamming. What the hell's over here? I'm going over here. What in the good third place? All right. Can I get another white one? Okay, if you build up a ton of white ones, does it do something cool? Might as well go get another one. Ha! All right, what are we dealing with here? Well, and that was my one. <laughs> it's gone. Oh, yeah, here we go. That still feels good. Core tenants of cart racers. They never go away. Oh, man, I got such an itchy nose. What? I got screwed. My shortcut's closed. Oh, maybe that's what I did. I closed the shortcut or I opened it. <laughs> eh, that's not bad. That's not bad for a court racer. <laughs> yeah, Korg Wave Station. I still, you know, I don't know how they made the music as good as they did back then with the software that they had because... Uh, you know, if they're using digital audio workstations from back then with MIDI, like, man, uh, on like a 5, 512 monitor or something, like tiny little monitor. Yeah, it's a certain charm to it. I mean, it's funny, every time you get, um, you start with Nintendo, for me, and, uh, uh, we'll try one more race on this game, then we'll check a different game out. Uh, you start with Nintendo, and they have limitations. All these old consoles have limitations, right? And it's funny how those limitations end up, uh, like the composers have to, they have to deal with it and come up with weird ways to make it sound good. Like even, even a game like Metal Gear Solid, when you, when you break down what they did for that score, like, man, I can't, I can't believe you made it sound that good with, with what you had. Or maybe that one, that one was CD quality, wasn't it? It was Red Book. I can't quite remember. Can't quite remember. 
That's impressive that you can recognize the Korg wave station sound. I just know that, yeah, they probably had that or like a Roland sound, uh, what's that Roland one? Sound canvas? Stuff like that. Oh no. Oh hell yeah. I don't even know if that was homing. There's just a swimminess to it. Like there's there's a lack of precision in your driving here. And there's also in what it looks like a lot of these games, there's a lack of um like if you were to try and beat the time trials here, I don't think there I don't think that there's um when I was playing Mario Kart on SNES trying to beat the Mario Circuit uh, time trial that was there, the rental copy, uh, I noticed that, man, it was like pixel precise if you want to increase your time. And in these games, it does not look like that level of fidelity is, is present at all. What the... Let's get the other white piece here. So I think white pieces amplify what your attack is. That's what I'm noticing here. That's kind of cool. I got an amplified speed boost here. I'll give it to him. That's a fresh, a fresh spin. Uh, another series I might want to do. Uh, you know, there's also like court or uh, course damage as the thing goes on. That's kind of a fresh feature. Oh man, I'm killing it. Uh, they got they got their revenge. Uh, another series or another theme I would like to do is just like actual bad games. Because um, there's some genuine stinkers I think need to be shown to people. Some stinkers that got away scot-free. No one talks about how bad they are. And I don't know if I don't want to talk about it just yet. I have the runniest, itchiest nose too. Uh, take that. All right, we got our power up. Oh my goodness. What happens here? Grappling hook. Does that just like scoop me up to the next guy? That doesn't matter anyways. All right, did a lot worse on that race. Oh my God, I blame the nose. I didn't earn it, but I'm gonna take another sip. All right, that was, uh, that was Lego Racers for PlayStation. I'm gonna say, obviously not as good as Mario Kart, but a lot better than, what the hell was it? Turbo Prop Racing. So uh, as far as I'm concerned, this is now the second best kart racer I've ever played. Chalk it up on the big board. Uh, huh. Kart racer list. Um, what the hell was it? It would help if I put this alphabetically correct. Uh, yeah, that's better. Let's just say both of these together. What a lovely stream. Thank you, everyone, for watching this train wreck. Okay, anyone in the chat? Challenged from what I've seen online. Yeah, I, I agree. Sound Canvas, like, but that's the thing. They have, like, the VST version of Sound Canvas, and, uh, like, I can't make it sound good. That's why I'm, I'm, I'm like, genuinely impressed what the composers were able to do with it and how they... They could, they could tell. They'd hear it and be like, that's going to be good sounding. Good for you guys and girls. All right, let's toss it up on the big board. Anyone, uh, you have any preferences here? Anyone want to check out? Uh, or if, if you guys know of any of these games in the PlayStation column, if they're good, if they're bad, I don't, I don't know. I know I've heard of Crash Team Racing, and I've played Jet Moto. Uh, I don't have Jet Moto 1 here. That's strange. I rented it because I'm in it was made by the Twisted Metal company so I remember renting that back in the day and not really liking it. You would like, could you imagine that renting a racing game? Because that's all it was. It was a racing game but it's one of my uh, you know is it a racing game or is it a kart game? If you have a bizarre vehicle. I don't know. I don't know everyone. Let's uh, close down this game first. Don't need to save our progress. Unless we're coming back. 
Yeah, yeah. Do you want to check that out? <laughs> I don't blame you. That was the one where I was like, I got to check that out. That was one of the few that I actually bothered to check out. You're doing the right thing. We're doing the right thing. And what better a thing to do for the inaugural episode of Norn Rad plays the best of the worst kart racers than playing an actual kart racing game that is not a kart racing game at all. So let's dive into that. Ba -ba 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 -ba. No, I'm opening up at the wrong windows. God, I'm a bad streamer. What was it called again? Michael Schumacher Racing. Okay. A surprise hit. You know what? The good. What might be a hit is uh, how bizarre it is. And there was like, you know, there was that. That might be another idea for a, a series as well, like goofy sports games, uh, like Tony Hawk. And then they'd come out with like yeah, BMX. Uh, Dave Muir is BMX. And then they'd be like, Sean, that it is surf pro and then they just come out with the razor scooter one was the one where it's like oh so this is a ridiculous genre now that's that's gone too far um that could be a fun series as well uh, everything's spinning i'm always spinning new ideas right games yeah we gotta sorry you have to watch the nothing here in fact we can probably do a little better here hey that's fun in the meantime Hey, remember when kart racing games had amazing music, such as this main theme? Uh, I actually had to... Okay, listen to that beginning, and then try and hum it along with it. It's like, it's the most bizarre rhythm and... Uh, it took me an embarrassing amount of time to uh, learn that on my own uh, when I was playing. Sorry, I'm also trying to look through menus while I'm gabbing away here. Sorry, back on track. Michael Schumacher's Racing World Kart 2002. Now, the funny thing about this is that it's a European game only. It didn't come out in the West. And isn't that funny that, like, that's that's the type of game in Europe, you know, that, that seems like a European game, where they're like, this is what we want, this is what we're going to play. Like, all right, guys, so whatever you say. Okay, let's get back. Let's get back. We don't need our list. We do need our PlayStation. Pause the amazing soundtrack, and let's dive back in. Oh my lord. Alright, well, if that's gonna be all. Well, son of a gun. This game might be at a different frame rate or something. Or a different something. Why is it way bigger? Nope. I'm breaking the windows here. Alright, well, you know what? Ah. Aha. Okay, what a great stream. Uh, you can also tell it's like a European game when they let you pick between so many localizations. We didn't have that in the West. Not bad. I was I was debating like this is probably a production company logo, but if this was actually their game, that was you know that was a very impressive piece of CG. Did that say porn world? I caught that a little late. Oh my lord! It's another super loud game. All right, if they have the option to, I'll turn it down. Uh huh. Whoa, is that THE Michael Schumacher? Boom! Woo! Not bad graphics, though. That was probably really impressive graphics back in the day. The, the cold, dead eyes of Michael Schumacher. Am I saying this right? Is it Michael Schumacher? Michael Schumacher, yeah, it is. 
That was his face. Too many things open, and it's all just like looking awful. All right, we're going back to this one because at least it has a thing. All right, the soundtrack's pretty happening. Duel, interesting. All right, I actually appreciate that their music is not way too loud as well. Let's see if they have their uh, buttons here. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's cancel. We don't need that. Um, make your own driver. Oh dear. Uh, can I rename this player? We're gonna give Dumper his first big break. Always play as Dumper. Let's see what kind of cart Dumper rides. Hell yeah. <laughs> Do you want this plaid outfit, that plaid outfit, or... Cart one or cart two? Mm. Always go pink. Pink as you can get, anyway. Not very pink. Defying all expectations. All right, we'll go back. Maybe I should just dive right into the championship. I'm ready for it. Dumper's big break. Heading to Japan. Do I get to pick who I play as? Fun! Uh... Doesn't... Uh... Okay, we're going back for one second. Now if I go to time trial, do I get to pick here? No. Okay, 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 okay. Well, if we don't get the plays dumb, you know, that's the world's loss, I guess. But, uh, we're going to Japan. Fun Japan. I got itchy nose. Don't touch your nose! I'm at home, I can do whatever I want. Oh, it is dumb! Oh my lord, the soundtrack is way too loud. Wait, hold on. This is... There's no pause button. Okay, here we go. Sorry, I can't subject you guys to that. Uh, what is it about these racing games and just like <laughs> insanely loud soundtracks? Uh, yeah, we got English only and that was that was all we were gonna get, which makes sense, but I don't know why they wouldn't put, like if the, if the game also came out in, uh, you know, Europe and they had all those localizations, I don't know why they wouldn't put them in there, unless it probably took up space uh, if they had any sort of dialogue that was recorded. So let's get the music down to a reasonable level. I I gotta go low. I, I'm not even gonna take the chance. I'm sure we'll be fine if we don't get to hear the amazingly accurate sounds of indoor kart racing. Uh, but yeah, sorry, Steven. Way back in the day, you mentioned uh, this game might be a gem, and uh, one thing uh, one thing I want to do with this series and basically any series where I'm playing old games on uh, stream like this is. There was, they had to make some artistic choices here, like, well, what, what's it going to look like? How would you do indoor kart racing? And this is what they came up with. Oh, man, I'm doing a qualifying race. All right, well, probably a, oh, my God. Yeah, that is pretty squirrely. Um, I should also mention I'm not even good at racing games, period, so. Although it's not like I have analog control over this. Like, you, you tap the D-pad in one direction and your guy is zinging over there. I'm going to have to get used to uh, using the brake, I guess. Oh, 
This has got to be just frustrating to watch. All right, I got to find the... Like, burnout button or something. All right, let's see how we qualify, guys. Dumper is coming in in fifth by a large margin. I'm basically pro is what that means. Okay, here we go. Nothing held back. Go. Of course, we're going to employ the uh, standard racing technique of just smashing into people when you're going around corners. The Gran Turismo method. Before all these games had, like, damage baked in and stuff, you just smash into people. God damn it, Michael Schumacher, I'm all over the road. I have the itchiest nose in the entire world. Uh, saved it. I'm trying to do it realistic there, and then he took the inside on me. God damn it. Sounds like my tires are just exploding. Dumper, come on, get it together. Oh, my lord. But yeah, uh, when I'm talking about how they had to make artistic decisions about how a game would look. Look at this game right now. Does this look like any racing game you've ever seen before? This is a weird looking game. It's like with this game, you almost have to be way past the turn before you push the button as the player. Or else you just, you'll hit the inside of the wall. Very uncomfortable. So I ask you guys, is this a kart racer? I don't know. I think they actually just made a racing game with go-karts, which is bizarre. Only in Europe. Dumper. I, uh... I moved up one slot. I don't think Michael Schumacher is going to be very impressed with my results. That's unfortunate. Racing lines. Is that like the apex of the turn? I don't know if that game has this. This game is, uh... There's like no gradient. You tap that button and you were like basically just going completely sharp turn. Uh, I do not want to do a qualification. I'm all about diving straight in. We're going to risk it. That's the way Michael Schumacher would have done it. I'm sure there's like a... Let's see what the other buttons do with something. Ah, this is helpful. A little further back. Yeah, take him off the road. Oh, man. He came back with a vengeance. Look at, look at that turning radius. Oh, that's rough. Giving the crowd a show, though. That's all we're doing. What, which way are the arrows telling me to go? I don't even know if go-karts can go backward. Uh, uh, can we... Whoa, dear. That's the problem with using a uh, PlayStation 3 controller. The touchpad, like, you can't disable it no matter what. Alright, well, we're a little behind. I, this is genuinely disorientating. Disorientating. I don't know where you guys want me to go. Poor design. You know. I have half a mind to contact Michael Schumacher about this. All right, so clearly I'm going around the corners too fast. This is what we know. Slow it down. No. Nothing about this is analog here. It's, it's full on or nothing. And that's the thing, too. Those little lips there. It looks like you should be able to go over them. You cannot. They will bump you down to zero speed. All right, is there like a... Okay. 
Aaron, Aaron. The shoulder buttons don't appear to do anything. Oh my god. That's not a good sound. Alright, alright, alright. Spilled milk. Right, everyone? Spilled milk. We're coming back. This is our race. It's hard to tell. Hard to tell which one I dislike more. This or prop, whatever that one was. Prop boat, something turbo prop. Whoa. Did I just take position on a guy? Sweet. Yeah. All right, this time I know what I'm doing. Okay, it's not bad when you know the turns there. Okay, that's inexcusable. I don't know if that's just the way all games were back in the day, but you know how I was saying, oh my god, Mario Kart for Super Nintendo is like pixel precise. This, there's still pixels on the screen, and it's like eight or nine pixels off being precise. Like, you can't even go eight or nine pixels close to the side without sticking to it when there's nothing there. Like, that's kind of a... Yeah! Dumper. Fifth place. I mean, yeah, this is this is them getting to use actual CD quality audio, and the the carts don't sound that much better than um, the carts in Super Mario Kart. I think we gotta we gotta call Michael Schumacher there. We had to do it. I mean, we didn't really have a choice. So I'm glad the first episode of this series took care of business. This is the face of this game. Signed. He signed it. <laughs> uh, maybe back in the day it was really good. I don't know. It's hard to tell. You know, when you start... We all have HD memory for these old games, right? But uh, I think this one also would have been poorly received back in the day. Sick tunes though, man. Oh my god, I've been playing for an hour already. Um, okay. Well, that's the problem. I remembered... I remembered the N64 being really swampy and swimmy. Like, especially graphically. It was, like, all blurry, muddy. Everything looked, like, just smeared. Um, but when I'm playing all these PlayStation games again now, especially, like, poor PlayStation games, like, I don't know. It just seems as bad, if not worse, than I'm remembering the N64 games back in the day. So maybe once we start checking out the N64 games, that'll be, like, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. This is like a sad, it's kind of sad. But that's, that's what we signed up for. Am I right? Uh, all right, well, let's, uh, let's get serious. Uh, is there any good stuff, good stuff, good stuff? There's one you don't hear often. Let's remember the good days, everyone. Let's decide amongst ourselves if we can do better. Michael Schumacher. Oh, okay, it wasn't just a European game. <laughs> there was a European and an English one. Well, I guess they're all English in Europe, but... Well, not all English, you know what I'm saying. Whatever. I don't talk and play ah! games that often. You're talking out your butt, man! all my uh, European fans. Hey, we got six concurrent viewers. That's a record tonight, guys. Um, Alright, chat. What a ride. Yeah. <laughs> what a damn ride. Uh, chat, I don't know, Steven, you might be the only one who's actually viewing this right now. I'm open to suggestions. If there's uh, if there's any that, that you think might top that, feel free. Otherwise, uh, in a minute or so, I'll just pick one at random. Oh, uh... You know what? We could... We need a little inspiration here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. This is some cart race picking inspirational music.
Um, I actually did play a split second of the Muppet Babies, Muppet Race Mania, and I was actually really surprised that that one was playable. That, on, on the surface, if you were to just look down this list, you'd be like, Muppet Babies have their own kart racing game? That's gotta suck. But it was actually a surprising, surprisingly well-crafted game. Down with anything, alright? Let's, uh, you know, maybe I'll play one I haven't played. Uh, so far, I have actually played all the games that we've seen. Let's see... Some of these I might not have to, I think. Super 1 Kart... Like, <laughs> look at the name of some of these games. Super 1 Karting! Okay. Let's find Super 1 Karting. That bass... That is a uh, resonant bass. I'm just looking uh, through my folders here trying to find the right game. That's a good question, isn't it? He's asking, do the games like Extreme, uh, ESPN Extreme, is that the one you're talking about? And uh, Skitchin. And like Road Rash and stuff like that. Yeah. I think whenever you have a racing game that involves battling your opponents, that does count as a kart racer. Like if we're gonna, if we're trying to define the terms of what a kart racer is, that sounds like a kart racer to me. All right, I think Super One Karting was one that I couldn't find. All right, all right, all right. Spilled milk, spilled milk. But, how about Nick Tunes Racing? Is that a kart racer? Or just a goofy racing game? I don't know. We're gonna find out. Right now. Hell yeah! What do you guys think that was? Uh... Roland, uh, D50? Is that what it is? It's not like a D50? Maybe. I don't know. Too extreme, ESPN, too extreme. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna say it is a car racer because the big difference between that and say something like, um, what the hell is it? Need for Speed is that you're actually, you're actually, sorry, itchy ear. You're actually battling your opponents, but then, I don't know, did Need for Speed ever have battling components or was it just like trying to, you know, overtake your opponents? I don't remember. I'm a generous guy. Oh my god, it's another super loud game. That means I have to talk the entire time, because if I stop talking, it's just gonna be way too loud. Alright, alright, looks like Spongebob's the main Good guy here. Afternoon, Holy fans and cripes. Alright, let's see if I can fix this within the menus here. As you can see, we're oh really ready for my the first god. race in this exciting series. Why is it so we loud? Just wait the arrival of our mysterious host. Why? The mystery rider. Can I skip wow. this? With okay, I can. Well, that helps. Yeah, Road Rash was one I missed, actually. I never got to play Road Rash back in the day. Um, until it was, like, Road Rash 3. And by that time, I, like, I was already kind of in the process of moving to PlayStation. So I kind of missed that whole series. But it seemed like a good one. Okay, okay, this could be good. These are like pretty big name uh, mascots, you know, like they they wouldn't put these in a crappy game, would they? Hold on, I just got to check my memory card. Remember memory cards? Oh my god, these games are too loud. I sure hope they have a volume. Oh my god. Yes. Dear Lord, yes. <laughs> Let's just enjoy the silence for a split second. Oh, dear Lordy. Alright, alright. See if they have any weird... Like, you always gotta find out if there's like a... Uh, uh, okay, we got break, jump. Ooh, jump. It's a, that's a kart racing element for sure. Acceleration is X button. Reverses go down. Brake is square. Jump is R2. Power up. 
There's no weapons in this game, it doesn't look like. Or there is power-up. Oh, okay, use the power-up is L1, okay. Uh, did I do something weird? Just go back. Just please go back. Um, back? One player. Go for the cup. Hey, Arnold. Let's see what they got here. Angelica, Arnold. I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. Is that someone from Disney's Recess? I don't know who that is. Don't know who that is. Don't know who those are. SpongeBob, Patrick. Don't know who that is. Oh, no brainer. No brainer. Stimpy's in this game. Okay. All right, we got a show. This is happening. That just happened. Let's just start at the beginning. We don't need them to get a little too nutty. That's the other thing I noticed with some games. Uh, let's see if I can articulate this thought. Uh, the first level of a game is where they kind of present you with the core foundation of what the game's going to be. And then, you know, with other levels, they start adding obstacles and weird environmental stuff. And I find, especially with the PlayStation, it usually ruins their games, like their obstacles. Okay, it sounds like the music is still super stinking loud. It's fine. It's delightful. What is this power up? Uh, just the oil slick? Oh no, that's my break. That's right. L1 is your is your power. Hey, shortcuts. Bubbles. Is there a speed boost button? I don't remember. Oh shoot. You, see, none of my uh, Mario Kart abilities transferred over to other kart racing games. Like that, Angelica, you bee. That was her name, right? Oh, that's not a good thing? I shouldn't have got that? Ooh, instant death. I feel like there was a speed boost button. Ah, yeah, there we go. I don't see where it's indicated, though. Oh, wait, yeah, you don't want to get that. I'm second place, goddammit! No, Tommy! Alright, alright, alright. Spilled milk, spilled milk. Speed burst here. Oh, okay, that's my power up. Thank you. Whoa! Oh, it's game over now. Check me out. And then I'm gonna combine that with my speed burst. Oh, you son of a butt. Damn, he's taking all my speed burst. Oh, ho, ho, ho. yeah. Sign of a good kart racer. If you can get first place, first time you play it, that's not bad. That's not bad. And it has Stimpy in it. It is Angelica. All right. Okay. I've heard a cat dog before. I didn't recognize him from the pixelated imagery. Got to monitor my son in the side here. Make sure he's. Alright, that was not bad. Not bad at all. The damn pre. Diet Rudy's. Everyone, don't forget, next time you join my stream, you gotta have a Diet Rudy. Official sponsor of the uh, Nornrad clan of weirdos. Oh, we're just going straight up. Alright, well you know what? That was a fun enough game where I'm gonna I'm gonna actually play the next one. Do without this music though.
difficulties. It's fine. Look at all this speed boost I got. Oh dear. It's the second place for what it's worth. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here we go. OP. Oh man, thread the needle. It actually has pretty decent control too, oddly enough. Oh dear. See, this is why I think I stopped. I didn't really like uh, Mario Kart N64 that much because I felt like all the splitting pathways and stuff, while it's fun, like cartoony fun, I feel like it, um, it kind of takes away from the precision. Like, oh, take either path you want. Like, well, there should only be one path, and it should be like whoever takes it the best gets the best score. Here we go. Here we go. I missed my full speed. Oh, I got bubbled. Damn you, Tommy. All right, pressure's on, gang. How many bubbles does this son of a butt have? Oh, I had it all. Had it all. Right, let's go this way. Okay. Okay. We're playing prison rules now. Dang. Dang. All right. All right. All right. All right. Oops. These guys are just going at each other. No! I'm second, come on! Use the speed burst! Pretty funky track. Yeah, Mystery Rider was no joke. And that cute Stimpy rides around in his cat box. His one material possession. Let's see if they just cancel me after that. Like, look, bruh. You gotta do better than fourth place if you're gonna play our game. That's right. Uh, the game might have a little rubber band action going on here. I felt like I was getting, uh, a little unfairly bubbled at a certain point there. Alright, here we go. That last race kind of made me question the quality of this game just a bit. Um, so this will be the decider. Already not a fan of that. Like, like I also don't like the I What? Am I the only one that went that way? I also don't like the idea of there being obstacles in the the race that can screw you up, like randomized obstacles. I mean, Mario Kart had that as well, but that's why I don't really play any of those levels. Like, it's not like I'm driving around Bowser's Castle trying to get high score. Like, I would only drive around uh, Mario Circuit, which was the one I felt was like the purest, purest, most pixel precise version. And no, I don't need to be getting like top score to determine if a game is actually good or not. But there was a little jankiness in that last level that kind of made me question some of the quality. 
Okay, so everyone must have gone this way. Oh, that's gonna cost me big time. It's not bad, though. That was my bad. Those speed ups. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got the box power up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did I just evade some attacks? Alright, Tommy. Eat it. In a lap. Alright, we're really flying now. Oops, that was a waste of my time. Okay. We blew it, everyone. That's one of the... Those multiple paths, you know? They'll screw you. They'll get you. I don't know what that power-up does. I think it just slows everyone down. Kind of like a lightning bolt, I guess. Screw you, Tommy. Boom. Back pretty good. I mean, the game definitely has rubber band. If that's the case. Tommy, bruh. All right, give me something powerful. The box is not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. That one might have been my bad. I got a little turned around. I mean, maybe it, it might be on me. Maybe I'm the one that's the odd man out. I don't like when there's multiple paths. Um, overall, that's better than... It's better than bad. I'm not going to sit here and say that that's anywhere near Mario Kart SNES level. Um, but to me, in my experience, that's only just like a hair lower than Mario Kart 64. I could be wrong. I didn't play a lot of Mario Kart 64. I just remember playing it at friends' houses and thinking, man, this is not as good as Mario Kart SNES. Alright, we don't need to play another one of these. We don't need to play another one of that. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, let's chalk it up on the big board. The list. Nicktoons. Surprisingly good. Surprisingly good. Uh, okay, well, let's try one. Um, hmm. Actually, it helps if I see what I actually have instead of what what exists, period. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Let's turn on the good tune. Yeah. Like I, I, I wanted to get the stream going early tonight because daily savings time. It got uh, it's supposed to be 10:20, but it's actually 11:20 right now. Um, so I lost a bit of time. I had to also make this ridiculous graphic. It took me a surprising amount of time. But if you're one of these people that's trying to share stuff on the internet, you have to also be a graphic designer. It's very annoying. That's me calling myself a graphic designer, by the way. Accurate. Um, hmm. Well, how about extreme go-karting? And go-karting spelled go hyphen kart racing. I don't know if that means it's more of an... That's a sign that it's... Seven concurrent viewers. Welcome, seventh viewer. Get your diet, Rudy. Enjoy the show. We're playing ridiculous kart racing games. And for some reason... Oh, okay. Yeah, there it is. Hi, everyone. Character select. Select Matt Creamer. Uh, age tech. Okay. That's, that's a hit or miss, but I think they've done more quality than... than... bad... badity? I shouldn't have. 
shouldn't have said that. That's going to cost me that last viewer. I know it. These are the risks you take when you're um, a streamer. Also, you know, I don't know if you guys mind watching streams on YouTube as opposed to Twitch. I don't know. I don't really like Twitch. I mean, I will do Twitch if I have to, but uh, I just find YouTube easier. Easier. Like, if I see someone live on YouTube, I'm more inclined to go check it out than I am um, Twitch. Twitch seems like you have to separate yourself from the world. Go to Twitch and watch Twitch. And everyone's always like, hey, Twitch, Twitch out. I'm getting Twitched out of my mind. Um, never heard of this game before in my life. Extreme Go Kart Racing. This one looks like a kart racer for sure. All right, what are you starting me in a race? This doesn't sound right. Oh, okay. I have to select the game. I didn't have the window selected. Now I have to load again. These are the consequences. Say, hey, get your act together. Eight concurrent viewers. Welcome, eighth viewer. Grab your diet, Rudy, and enjoy the magic. We're playing Extreme Go-Kart Racing for the PlayStation. It's a fine tone. Let me hope that there's an option to turn the sound down. Oh, thank goodness. It's as if they knew. Someone might stream this in the future. Oh, dear lord, no. This is the only option they have. This is a god-awful, god-awful loud game. What am I going to do, dang it? Just jumping into a race? Oh, yeah, that's what I thought they were doing. Uh, it turns out I just didn't press start. Okay, random BGM test here. Key change ruined it. They had something good going. Just a lazy key change. I don't abide. The lazy man's way of extending your song. I'm just kind of curious here. I like when games have sound tests because you can extract the sounds and use them for nefarious purposes. Especially that one. Oh my lord, no. All right, so uh, viewers, I'm sorry. This is a super loud game, so that means I'm gonna have to basically talk the entire time because I have it set to uh, duck the audio. As you can hear, it gets a little rowdy. Holy lord, it just keeps getting louder. Maybe if I get really close to the microphone, that'll help. Oh my god, what button is back? Go back. Oh my god, it keeps getting louder. That's that's one strike. That's one strike, extreme go-kart racing. Alright, let's let's go. To the Grand Prix itself. Joe. Nice marksman who's interested in allies and racing. I don't even need to He's a marksman. Sounds like he's got a good weapon. Oh, you can pick the different well, I blew it. I'm not a fan necessarily of the games that have um uh, the racer and the cart separate. Um, I feel like they, they should be together. Sorry, forgot. Forgot you have to actually see the game to give a crap what the hell's going on. So I picked Joe. He's a cactus. Uh, I thought that seemed about right. Uh, or no, it, it, Joe was the main guy. I don't remember what the cactus guy's name is, but I picked him because he's a cactus. This is my burden. You're gonna, like, you know, when the first time you play Street Fighter as a kid in the arcade, you're like, you pick Blanca every time because Blanca looks like a monster. Why wouldn't you pick Blanca? And that's the, um, this is the philosophy of character select that I follow strictly. You're gonna be a cactus man. I'm gonna play as the cactus man. Oh, burnout. Weak. So this is interesting. This looks like a kart racing ass kart racer, but it has a time limit. As we discussed earlier on the stream, I feel like... Jesus. 
Jesus, which button is turbo? I can't believe I'm in fifth place, though. All right, so square makes me do that. I'm going to try to stop doing that. Circle is straight up break. All right. I'm okay to do something. But what? Okay, so R1 is my activate mode. It looks like your special move is a combo of whatever you've picked up. Am I going fast? I don't... Hard to tell. This game is both precise and really inaccurate all at once. What? That seems like an unfair power to have. Where is that power? Right, we're going... We're going for it. We gotta get some big power-ups here. Why do I just keep getting that? Oh, man. okay. That's that's your calico power up. You want to just use one color. All right, let's go turquoise slash blue. That's the one we're gonna we're gonna pick that one up exclusively. See what happens. Final lap. Uh, ooh, a double shot. Nope. Okay. I don't know where I got orange ones from. Jesus, did I pick the one that was like super hard? Eh, oh man. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're back. Nice. We're coming up in the world. No, 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 no. There we go. Okay, when I get this thing, it's gonna be insane. Damn, well, better be. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Son of a bitch. Okay, this has gotta be the one. Okay! It's just the same thing. Alright, this game... He's a marksman. Why did they call him a marksman? There was no shooting in the game. It's right. Got to do my due diligence. I'm probably never going to play the game again, so I might as well dive into one more aspect, see what they have. But again, okay, Mario Kart Super Nintendo. I would Desert Island games here. I wouldn't even play this game if I was on a desert island and this game was there. Like that that should say something, right? The music's okay. I might listen to the music. Maybe that was my problem. I, I picked a stupid character. Marl. Maybe the character you are uh, has some sort of effect on the car. Taped course. Oh man, we're going to the same level. Uh, Lord. Wait, no, I was gonna back out. Oh, that's right. In Japan, circle is select. I think I blew it. Yeah, I just lost a viewer. I blew it, everyone. What can you do? This one's a Mario 64 clone? Steven? Yeah, the VO. That's the thing. I actually, when I was a kid, I wouldn't watch. Like, I had to watch dubbed anime. I couldn't watch, like, the subtitled ones. But the thing that I've learned growing up, um, obviously, is that uh, uh, dubs are awful almost always because, like, they have to retranslate it so heavily to make it fit the the, the lip syncing that it, it'll screw the story around. But the thing is, you can have bad voice actors in Japanese and I can't tell. So like a bad voice actor in Japan just sounds like a Japanese voice actor. Like I can't I can't tell the difference. What is the point? You, you just get screwed every time you try and use your boost. Okay. Let's see if I can only get blue. Oh, no, 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 no. Like, is that what they want? No, no, no. 
Okay. Here we go. Here we go. The game also doesn't seem to have any... Oh, no, it does. Okay, watch me... Watch me drift. Holy lord. Maybe this isn't a good drifter level. Alright, alright, alright. No, that wasn't enough. Okay. Oh, when you get a lap, you get two squares. What is... Or some of these just worth more? That might be what's going on here. Is there a uh, like, camera angle change? No. Got a little trigger happy on that one there. The green just gave me a ton of blocks. Okay, so if you're in turbo blitz mode, if you bump into someone, it's flattened. Noted. Okay, I think we can we can do this now. So, okay, you might actually want to save your speed burst sometimes to run over someone instead of just to speed burst for speed burst sake. Noted. No, 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 no. All right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, no. Okay, okay. Let's uh, turn that off because it's too loud and it's annoying me. All right, that was uh, Extreme Go-Kart Racing. Was that what it was? Extreme Go-Kart Racing. Seems like it was an original, an all-original game. Uh, didn't seem like those were characters from another universe. Not bad. Uh, once you get the hang of it, odd. It was an odd game. Better, still terrible. Uh, objectively unfun. But better than... Turbo Prop Racing, which was the first one I played today. So, okay, here's the thing. I hear about Crash Team Racing all the time. Oh, Crash Team Racing, Crash Team Racing. Everyone's like a big Crash fan uh, for some reason. I don't know why. It seems like kind of a really weak mascot to me. I remember renting the game back in the day because it was so heavily uh, pushed on all of us. But, yeah, I never really got the... never really got the... never really understood what the big deal was. But now maybe we'll figure it out. Maybe the big deal was... That Crash Team Racing is a great game. Who knows? We're going to find out right now. We're going to find out right now whether Crash Team Racing is worth playing in the year 2020. -na 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 -na. I got that song in my head. Yeah, Loner Cactus Man was all right. Oh, that sound will never get annoying. Game already glitching? I don't, I don't know what the hell's going on here. Start your engines for Sony Computer Entertainment Yikes. Production. Nice. Alright, maybe if I just lower this a bit. If I lower the whole thing, maybe that'll make it so it doesn't clip your speakers. Lord. Fasten your seatbelts for another Naughty Dog! Oh, Naughty Dog. Interesting. That's very interesting. Maybe that's why people keep talking about it. Alright, 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 alright. Good flag physics. Loading. Alright. Alright, everyone. Let's get limber. Oh dear lord, they don't have an option. Ooh, but they do have battle mode. Major time trial, high score. Curious, does this have to be two player? Yes. Bummer. What? God. God, no. Alright. 
Well, now I'm curious. What is adventure? Who do they got here? Who the hell else is there in this universe? Coco? Dial. I mean, obviously, we're gonna go with Crash. Cause that's your guy. You gotta save it. We don't wanna lose our progress, right? Alright, so anyone in the chat. You're probably good to you probably know a thing or two. Super Mario Kart 64 better than the SNES version, Welcome or to the Adventure Arena. You can or not as good. This area and practice your driving skills. What? Dots and stars on the map represent warp pads, which lead to races. <laughs> Shut up! I know what I'm doing. Okay, got an interesting sort of weight behind it. I guess I gotta drive to a race. You know, here he is. I'm giving him hell for... Shut up, I'm gonna do my own thing. And then I drive right past the thing I'm supposed to drive to. Let's go to a race. Um, by the way, I had to take my, uh, my chiptune streams down. So they can't be viewed anymore. Um, just something uh, for those that weren't here at the beginning. I talked about it. I need to. I need to maybe keep those on under wraps for a, a little while longer since the project is still in development. Lessons learned. Which button is attack? Uh, uh, circle. That's a weird one for attack. Pass it on. Oh my lordy. This seems a lot like uh, Mario Kart N64 to me. There we go. Oh, I don't know if that did anything. Alright, Crash was all about collecting those apples. Well, what the hell? Some of these things look like they're a power-up, but then they just jack you. I'm fighting. Hmm. It is really hard to play these games and talk at the same time. I don't know why. But you gotta talk if you're gonna be a streamer. Man, could I get some more TNT? Oh dear. I spoke too soon. You know, I just watched the uh, Sonic the Hedgehog movie. I gotta say, that was actually pretty good. It shouldn't have been as good as it was, but it was actually pretty good. Personally, though, I, I didn't mind the way the original Sonic looked in that, uh, the one they had to recall, basically. No, we mustn't show people that Sonic. Eh, it didn't look like the game at all, but, you know, I think at a certain point, the, the game, the Sonic from the game, like, I don't, the fans from the, the ones that are always like, oh, he's gotta look this way, he's gotta look that way, oh, wow, first place. I feel like those are, like, Fair weather fans, like they don't actually seem to stick with Sonic. They just came to, they come to always like rip on him. And so when he changes and he looks like weird, for sure looks weird. Like, uh, they were really quick to be like, nah. You know what I'm saying, I don't know. I know when it, uh, most people I had chats with on the internet vehemently disagreed with me that it was a good thing that the fans exploded on that original Sonic. But the more you watch it, like if you watch that original trailer, um. Just watch it a couple times uh, without the, uh, you know, the the internet sort of pinging in your ear. Like, you win a trophy. Like, okay, well, here's a good example. Whenever they, uh, the people on the internet are talking about that Sonic, they'll be like, 
They'll do a freeze frame of the faster of that Sonic when he was in the middle of making that like scared screaming face, and it's like it's the same thing that people do when they make videos on the internet where they're uh, they're ripping on someone's video, and they'll do like a pause, and then they'll rip on it, and then press play, and keep pausing and stuff, and they'll they'll pause and they'll rip on things. Like, they'll pause on still shots where the person's in the middle of talking, so they look awful. They look all messed up. I feel like Sonic got that. People just did that to Sonic a bit. I could be wrong. Don't hate me, guys. I just, I wanted to enjoy Sonic, the weird one. I hope when the DVD comes out, the DVD, when the, when the actual movie comes out, I hope it's, um, I hope they include the original version as well. I would like to see what their original vision was supposed to be. Whoa, speed burst. Can I get up there? Nah, too risky. Alright, you know what I'm gonna do after this? I'm gonna play some Twisted Metal and we're gonna find out if that's if that's a kart racer. Justice for Sonic. I mean, I just want to... I feel like Sonic has... Uh, his fans... Uh, well, the actual fans don't speak up. What what you get is, like, the meme fans that want to, like, sort of do a pile-on. And everyone's like, oh, Sonic's got a thing coming out? Let's pile on Sonic. Let's pile him on. Um, and let's, let's rip on Sonic. And I feel like that was what was happening uh, with the movie. And... I could be wrong very easily because I was almost 100% convinced that... No! Whoa! I was convinced that those fans were going to hate the movie no matter what, uh, whether they fixed it or not. But it seems like a lot of people really did enjoy the movie uh, the way it looks now. So I could be dead wrong. Dead wrong. But, um... Coming through! Uh... Yeah, I feel like that original Sonic... It, it just got internet meme. And uh, it, it probably was better than people were expecting. I'm still in first. I can hear a guy over to my left with his headphones on. He's trying to pass me. Hell no. Ow. Okay. The verdict on Crash Team Racing is that is probably the best one I played tonight. Um, I can see why people enjoyed this game. I'm not going to go ahead and say it's anywhere near uh, the Super Nintendo version of Mario Kart. Excuse me, Diet Rudy. It's not better than Mario Kart Super Nintendo, but it's still pretty gosh darn good. Hi, everyone. All right. We've we've uh, we've had some fun here tonight. Uh, I'm going to do Twisted Metal 1 because I, I know where that one is and I can get it easily. But I could easily switch on to Twisted Metal 2, I think. I probably have that as well. I bought them both. That was, uh, yeah, I bought Twisted Metal 2, like, immediately when it came out. These They were, like, my favorite games for a long time, Twisted Metal 1 and Twisted Metal 2, which is funny, because, like, there was, really wasn't that thing before them other than Battle Mode for Super Mario Kart. Didn't play Diddy Kong Racing, um, but I'm wondering, like, what, what was the difference between Diddy Kong Racing and Mario Kart N64, like, what did they do differently to to not be included? Uh, well, I guess it was Rare, so it wasn't it wasn't s Nintendo necessarily. So it was just just Rare's version of a kart racer, I guess. PlayStation, where the hell is Twisted Metal? Maybe this is buried in there somewhere. Uh, yeah, I, I bought Twisted Metal with birthday money before I owned a PlayStation and I would walk it over to my friend's house who lived across the street and play it at his house but then I would bring it home with me at nighttime like what a dick move why didn't I just leave it there I still worry about it. like I they must have wondered that but they never said anything they probably could have said hey can you leave that here so we can play it tonight I don't remember them ever doing that I probably would have left it there if they'd said something I was just wasn't thinking about it so CDs are you know at that time CDs were like a a rare thing, a precious thing. You gotta treat it right. You can't. What if something happened to it? Yeah. All right. So I have a bunch of external hard drives that I have to filter through, like finding where I even have stuff located anymore. 
Um, so while we're doing that, I mean, this is probably getting old, but you know what? At this point, maybe I can find us some different music. Hey, everyone. Do you remember the music from... Ba -ba 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 -ba. Trying to find us something fun to listen to. That's the sign of a good streamer, which I am not. Someone already has all this stuff worked out. It's just bam, 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 bam. I know where to go. I know what I'm doing. All right. Already blowing it. Already tanking my own stream. We're going to listen to... Some F1 games from Sega Genesis. Let's see if they're any good. Oh, so maybe Diddy Kong was kind of what inspired them to start doing a lot of stuff in the later uh, Super Mario Kart. Like, Mario Kart 8 has all that stuff as well, right? Flying... Uh, I mean, flying for sections, I guess. It wasn't, like, all flying or anything. All right, so the other thing with external hard drives is they take a while to... The the disc takes a while to start spinning. Okay. Yeah, we got Twisted Metal. One, two, three, four. Hell yeah. Okay. All right, sorry. That was short-lived FM goodness. We're going back. Ho, <laughs> Twisted Metal. Twisted Metal with this intro. That'll get your spine tingling. That one, just 1995. Incarnate. Let's go. Maybe 96. I'm not sure, but... Wow. This was a special game. That I'm not especially good at anymore. Ugh, it always gives me nightmares. Or, like, I get tense to... Uh, with this game. Like, is it gonna load? Is it gonna load? Like I said, I had to... Like, my PlayStation 1 basically had the red ring of death. And uh, this was the first game I had, so I remember this one freezing all the time. I never got to even see the endings for this game because, like, they would not load. Whew. Oh, here we go. I used to actually get home from school in grade 8, sit cross-legged on the floor, and listen to this song in the options menu. On like an old UHF TV. I just really liked it for some reason. It's a pretty rowdy track. And this is a good example too of like, I'm amazed at the stuff that these, uh, the composers were able to make back in these days. Like they had a lot of limitations and they came up with something rowdy. I always, if you notice, does it look like there's a little monster inside the ashtray here? Like squished up face with teeth. Maybe a claw going like this. Alright, I won't make you guys listen to the whole thing, but... Uh... Woo! Alright. Um, so I learned early on that it's really easy to beat the game as dark side because all you have to do is smash into someone, and it does crazy amounts of damage. So I'm wondering, do you want to just cheese the game right now? Go for it. Yeah, maybe I will. And yeah, GamePro always had this one image that I'll never forget for this game. Oh, which button am I doing? Uh, let's get the controls down real quick. That's another um, another stream idea that I'm doing is just live rereads of GamePro magazines I used to own. That's that. This is Switch. Okay, where the hell are you? Time to get your... No, 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 no. Harry, 
you're alive and you're a terrible shot. Yeah. Adam. Boom. All right. So the cool thing that you'll notice, the reason why I mentioned that mentioned that one image that was in uh, GamePro was it was of this location right here where you are. And one thing you'll note is the arena that I was just in is this building I'm driving around right now. Who knew? Also, I mean, execution is maybe lacking these days, but the further you are away from action, it will change the music to be um, ambient. That's brilliant. That, I don't know if any game had done that before this. So. Kudos to them for that. All right, all right, all right. We got tons of weapons here. We got Yellow Jacket coming down here. Take him out. Uh, nuts. And then the music kicks up. Like, that is badass. All right, got to get out of here. You don't want to have Thumper looking at you like that. Get rid of these damn landmines. Alright, what do we got here? Man, I got fire missiles like crazy here. No, you don't want Thumper in front of you. Their power up, which I think is over here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got it. We're doing it. Freaking Crimson Fury. All I have to do is tap him and I, he'll basically die. It is really hard to beat the game with Crimson Fury. Alright, this is gonna be a close one. I don't necessarily have. Oh, shoot. shoot, 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 shoot. got it everyone i don't know if the headphones are getting all crappy for everyone else seven concurrent viewers welcome seventh viewer all right twist of metal is it a cart racer i don't know you tell me oh dear lordy why is this happening specter yeah something funny is going on in my headphones why am i taking this garbage from specter these guys with no defense, they can't crash into you, but they will. Oh, shoot. All right, got to get away from roadkill. He's a little tough. All right, all right, spilled milk. Rear shot, take that. The back of the PlayStation box had a picture of this ramp. I remember just thinking, like, no way. You can drive up the ramp. This is that's just where we were back in the day. I know there's a way to shoot backwards in this game, but I don't remember how. I might as well just get my health here, even though that's going to cost me. I do not have very good weapons right now. Get some turbo in case things get a little rowdy. Ooh, there's another power-up station. What is this? Freeze missile. Like, I don't need all these. They're just... Actually, I probably do need freeze missile for this guy. Well, lesson learned. If you freeze him, then you bash into him. All right, let's get some sick air. Oh, bro, that was so sick. Where the hell is everyone? Oh, I'm blowing it. Get out of 
out of here. Get my health way back here. Yeah, where the hell is everyone? Killer rippage. Whoopsies. Okay. Oh, that's gonna cost me. Oh, okay, good. No one's chasing me. Alright, let's do this right. Got no turbo. It's gonna cost me. Alright, yellow jacket's coming around the corner. Let's go. That was the right call. Oh, okay. When I accidentally hit the uh, analog control, it changes the uh, the panning. That is not what you would want. Man, these guys on the side are going to end up killing me. All right, let's see if I can just take out a guy before we call it a day. Not take out a guy, but I'm basically gonna kamikaze someone. Sweet tooth, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Ah, uh, he got me. Oh dear. All right, we got full health now. What else do we got? Two fire missiles. It's not a lot. Oh yikes! That's not good. There you go. That's a big thing too with uh, Dark Side. You want to use your machine gun. Just ram into someone and use your machine gun. Oh, dude, Twisted Metal Black. That's like one of the one of my favorite games of all time for sure. With a soundtrack that is just like unparalleled. Right, I'm in trouble here. Hammerhead is not the one you want to run into. Alright, go, 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 go. Let them duke it out. Let's see if he kills Yellow Jacket. Yeah, Twisted Metal Black. Wow. It was like the perfect sequel to, to this. Like, or Twisted Metal 2 as well. It was they just did a perfect job. It felt like. Uh Never got to play the online version, though. I, uh, that's a bummer. I wish I did. The online connectivity of PlayStation 2, though, was, like, pretty squirrely. Alright, I got no more charges, but I got one, one health left. Two homing missiles. Oh, is that hammerhead or just some nothing? A nothing! Damn it! Wasted my two missiles. All right, spilled milk. Terrible. Oh, yeah, I need to get some. Oh, Jesus. I know Twisted Metal Black, if you ran over the guys on the side, it would give you a little bit of health. Okay, is it just me? You're like, where are all the weapons? That better not be a landmine. I don't need landmines. I don't need these either. What the hell are those doing for me? Special is not going to do me very good here. Those either. Not very good. Oh, health station charged up. Uh, now we got it. Now we got it. Where the hell is Hammerhead? This is not gonna work. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, I got one life left. I could probably take him out if I don't act like a dummy. But of course I'm going to act like a dummy. Two whiffs. Coming after me. Yeah. This is bad. This is bad. 
This is bad. No, you don't want to be in that spot. Because that's Hammerhead special move is just running into you. Yikes. This is not a good spot. No, 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 I'm in a bad spot, everyone. You, get out of here. That's the bad thing about Darkseid is he can't turn at all, so when people are coming after you. Why? That's not going to help me at all. Why? Uh, get these landmines. Ooh, rear might actually help me. Okay. That's not gonna help me. That was a bad detour. If only I remembered how to shoot backwards. I know, like, I know Twisted Metal 2 and Twisted Metal Black, you could push, like, up, down, or something. But, uh, in this version, I don't know if they had it. Yikes! Yeah, I'm in trouble here, gang. I am in trouble, because if I turn around, he's got me for sure. But if I keep driving, trying to find the right, right weapons, these guys are going to get me for sure. All right. Let's do it. Eight fire missiles should be enough to put this guy down. Look at the cityscape in the background. That's something I like picturing. Like they, oh, health station power up. How they would solve the city in the background problem. Oh, well, now we got it in the bag. Oh, no, he froze me. Damn. Still pretty high octane action here. You know, this is actually the furthest I've been in the game. Oh, I've got to stretch. Since, uh, since I used to own it. I played it on and off since then. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Ice rink. See, this was it. You'd read in the magazines. Be like, you could actually drive across an ice rink. Whoa. What? Jesus. Hard and heavy on me. Get out of there. This is pure chaos. They've done a very good job with this game. Mr. Grimm got me with a full straight-on weapon. That's not good. Okay, okay, okay. I just need better weapons. And I need to get better at the game, obviously. I don't even know if he can make this jump. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hit and run. That's all we need. Nope. Pandemonium! Ugh, harmonica. I remember not liking that. I mean, I still don't like that. Oh, that's right. There's like a path somewhere around here where you can go through the buildings. That was like next level stuff back in the day. Damn, Mr. Grimm hit me again. I don't even have any turbo. I am sitting duck here. As long as the action packed song isn't on, I should be fine. No! Oh, you lose. When some, you lose some. Thanks for checking it out, Dizzy. Um, that is rough. You beat the whole game in just three lives? I wonder if options gave you, like, oh, do you want some extra lives? Player contest. You have an option to needles cane. Oh my God, Steven, 
the uh, cutscenes in Twisted Metal Black, they were deranged. Those were like some truly insane uh, pieces of gaming history. So is there an option here? Ah, I should have remembered the password. Frick! Well, that was fun. That's a two-hour stream. Maybe we'll call it there, everyone. I mean, who streams games on YouTube? It's already kind of a weird thing. Yeah. Hey. Hey, everyone. Thanks for sticking around with me tonight. I know it wasn't chiptunes. I know it's not music-related. Um, I'm a music guy, but here I am playing video games on YouTube, which is very strange. Um, so we're here. We're here playing kart racing games. This is a new series I'll do periodically um, where I play other kart games um, and just determine further what what a kart game is and is not. And, um, you know, uh, I got other series ideas. You know, fighting games is another one. There's probably more fighting games than any other genre in the world. That's, uh, Oh, yeah, that's better. Um, so I might like to play some fighting games. Uh, arcade games, obviously, I'd love to just uh, mess around with some arcade games. Now that I have a setup where I can actually play stuff, and it's, it's fairly easy, and uh, I can play music along with it. What's one of the other ones I was going to do? 1995. This is uh, just a preview. If you guys enjoyed this, uh, here's what's in store for the year 2020 in Norn Rad slash Matt Creamer slash Matt Creamer Audio. Slash, slash, slash. Um, 1995 is just a year I really like. So I might just find games that came out in 1995. Like, for example, Twisted Metal is a 1995 game. And uh, Mortal Kombat. Uh, sorry, it's super itchy. Mortal Kombat, the movie, was 1995. Like, there's a lot to 1995 that was just the embodiment of the 90s. Like, it was the best of the little bit of the early, the little bit of the later. So 1995 was kind of just a weird year. I think Event Horizon also might have came out in 1995. Maybe 96. I'm not sure. But I'd like to just focus in on like things that happened in 1995. Um, as a series. You know, what? I don't know what I'm doing. Why would anyone watch that? Um, you know, other series could be... Uh, I'm going to continue reading Game Pro magazines uh, live. Uh, because it's fun to go back through Game Pro magazines and... Um, and see the advertisements and see the pictures like even even twisted metal like uh sorry i know it's probably annoying even twisted metal seeing the advertisements for twisted metal in game pro is like that triggers all the nostalgia in my head um you know i got other ideas but for now uh we'll just we'll say that's good and uh we'll call it there thanks everyone for watching uh don't forget to to bring your diet root beer for the next stream. Uh, and if you guys have any ideas for games that you want me to play on this series or other series, um, comment in the comments because that really helps me out. I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. Uh, so to uh, recap, before we go, we played Turbo Prop Racing and it was awful. We played Nicktoons Racing and it was okay. We played Michael Schumacher Racing World Kart 2002. And it was awful. We played Lego Racers. It was good. We played Extreme Go-Kart Racing. Go-Kart Racing? Was that what it was? And it was average. I'd say I would not play that on a desert island. So actually, it's probably bad. If you wouldn't play it on a desert island, it's probably pretty bad. And we played Crash Team Racing, which was good. Um, oddly good for this genre. And then we played Twisted Metal, which may or may not be a kart racing game, depending on how you decide to play it with your friends. And that's it for me, everyone. We'll see you on the next stream, which will just happen randomly around this time at night, sometime in the future. Good night, everybody.